All right, well, here I am. I'm ready for another video, finally. This one is gonna be Faker, the evil robot of Skeletor. And I really like, um, I, oh, well, uh, I kind of, well, I guess I really like the colors because uh, they are really neat colors. And um, so that's really cool. Um, like the color of the hair is, it's, I think they're just like really bizarre colors. They're just like really clashy, like crazy colors. Um, on the back, we have his wonderful art and it says the robotic replica faker lures the heroes of Eternia into deadly traps. And then there is um, Ram Man and Manny Faces and there's evil Skeletor. Oh, is that Skeletor? No. Oh, I see what it is. See, that's the that's the silhouette, and these guys are like, oh, He-Man's over here. We'll go, like, go talk to him and say, you know, see if he needs us to help him with anything. And then, um, so there's He-Man in the background, like, just the silhouette. And then they're like, let's go, let's go talk to He-Man. He's right over there. And then he comes jumping out. These lines here are jumping lines, they're action lines, with that orange sword. And he's like, I tricked you, you fools. And he comes jumping out and he just attacks them. And that's the deadly trap that they're talking about. He, You think that's He-Man? Nope, it's Faker. And you can um, remove his chest armor for a robotic reveal. I'm really excited about that. I think that's what I'm the most excited about with this figure is um, the, the, um, the little, I don't know, the little robotic parts, the beep boop parts on his chest. Okay, so I'm going to... Okay, and let me think. Um, oh, yeah. Well, mm, I don't have any, like, cool stories to tell. <sighs> oh, yeah, the only cool story... Well, it's not even a cool story. It's, like, a revelation that I had, and I don't even know if I should really say it. But, like, I found out why I've really been, like, hating my job lately. And it's because, like, well, it's just, like, a lot of work, and it's, like, nonstop. And I'm always having to talk to people, like, customers, and they're always really angry. And I figured out, and this is like, this is like the bad part. Um, it's when I'm working there and I work, I feel really drained at the end of the day. And it's because I'm not getting my, like, the, like the job is not feeding me my narcissistic supply. I feel like unmotivated at work. I feel like it's, um, like it's, I feel really drained at the end of the day because I, I feel like I'm not getting my narcissistic supply. And I don't know if I really am a narcissist, but maybe I am. And, and you know, at least if I am, at least I'm aware of it. You know what I mean? And I can just like do my best to not be a horrible person. But I think that like, you know, when I'm doing my art, I get people from the internet saying like, oh, I like your art. Can you draw me? Can you do this? Can you do that? And I'm like, oh yes. And it gives me all this energy. And that's why I feel like it's my narcissistic supply because it's like compliments that make me feel really energized. And um, at work, I don't get that. I basically just get griped at all day from people who are mad about their insurance going up, but I don't care about their insurance. Like I didn't ask you to buy a boat. So I don't care that your boat insurance went up, buddy, you know? So I think that's what my problem has been lately. Um, oh, here, let me do this. But I'm not sure. And then I also wonder if like, um, well, I'll have to talk to my psychiatrist about this. There he goes. Oh, he was really stuck in there. Okay, so let's play. Oh, he doesn't have, oh, you know what I was thinking was gonna happen with him? is I thought that he was going to have a Havoc staff, like Skeletor, like an orange Havoc staff, and he didn't, but that's okay. Wow, he does look really cool. He looks just like He-Man, uh, this like bubblegum blue. It's so cool, and he's um, the color of Skeletor. Here's a Skeletor. Is he the color of Skeletor? Yeah, yeah, they are. They look, they're the same exact color. And then there's He-Man's face there. So it's the face of He-Man, but in Skeletor blue. How awesome. And I bet you he would look really cool with Skeletor's boots. Let's see if I can do this with a bump in the camera. So far, so good. Oh, there we go. Okay. See, one of my main problems with this, doing this, these videos, is I'll get these um, action figures down from the shelf, and then I make the video, and then... Oh, here. And then um, 
and then I don't put them back and then they're just like in the way and then I go oh my god I have too many toys I hate this okay so he looks really cool with Skeletor's boots but that's the giveaway you know oh but they don't really match they're more of a dark blue bluish purple and these are more of a violet mm, no, they, they look very similar but I can see a slight difference this one's a little bit more a little more red I'm trying to think if I have any fun stories. Oh, I did another portrait of a grandma, like another um, another friend's grandma. And maybe I'll put that in. But um, I was kind of thinking that, like, next time I do a portrait, I'm going to charge more money. And I'm going to um, do, like, a smaller canvas. <sighs> because this one, like, it took me, um, I don't know, like, a few days. It probably wouldn't have taken as long. Except I... Um, would only work on it for like a couple hours at a time but I would work on it after work and then I would do that instead of going swimming and then it made me sad that I wasn't going swimming okay and here is his sword I'm trying to see okay yeah so it's basically just like a like a flat orange um there's no none of those like uh little sparkles baked in which is fine um I don't need to have the sparkles baked in but they are a nice addition. So if you just see him from the silhouette, you might think that he's He-Man because they pretty much match. They line up, but no, it's really faker. But this is a dead giveaway. Like the, that's definitely uh, Skeletor's armor, but in orange. And let's reveal his armor for a robotic surprise. I have to take it. His, probably don't have to take his head off, but, or, oh here, but I'm gonna go like this so that you can't see. And we'll reveal it with his arms on. It's going to be a surprise. A robotic surprise. Okay, so there is his robotic surprise. I think that these little discs, um, I think that like in the olden days, like um like Disney animatronics would use like a like a disc sort of a thing to make them do their little robot dances and stuff. I think that that's what this is uh after. And apparently, reportedly uh, this used to be a sticker in the olden days on the vintage figures, but now it's uh, painted on. It's I, it's like, a, I don't know, spray painted, maybe like a stencil or something. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. Um, and that's Faker. I've had this Faker for a long time. Like he's been on the floor. But I think that I like didn't want to open him because I was like, well, he's the last figure that I have and then I won't have any more to open. But you know what? I started going crazy and I started like, um, <laughs> well, um, I, I went on like the, the internet, the big bad toy store. I ordered a whole bunch. Like I pre-ordered a whole bunch of like the new, the new figures that are coming out. Um, so like the, uh. All of the snakes, all of the snakes. There was like a, I don't know what you call it, that the the box set of the um, of the skeleton warriors. Um, I bought a snake Tila. Um, I bought I bought a few, and then I was looking at it, and I was like, oh my gosh! And they're all pre order, and they and I'm like, oh, this is gonna be expensive. So I didn't order as much as I like probably would have if they were all spread out but it was like it, uh, it was a lot and they're they're all pre-order right now and I'm just like dreading the credit card uh statement when it when it does come through um but anyway this is going to be my review for Faker the evil the evil robot of Skeletor Faker and I will give him a um Hmm, I think I'll give him like a 9 out of 10 because he is really cool. I like that he's a robot. Um, I also really appreciate that he's got that thing on his chest, that robotic surprise. Um, he just looks really cool and I think he's like one of the core um, figures, I think. But you know what's crazy about these figures is that they are all core figures. You're like, you see them and you're like, my collection can't be complete without that one. And then it's like... Oh, you mean like this weird obscure figure that was like character that was only in one episode, but they made a figure out of it. You have to have it. Yes, I do. It's, it's, it's a problem, I think, but that's okay. Okay. That's my video.